वेलकम टू ऑन केमिस्ट्री दिस इज वन मिनट केमिस्ट्री सीरीज यू आर गोइंग टू क्विकली सी हाउ वी कैन फाइंड इज इट इन एंड इज इट आउट कॉन्फ्यूरेशन इन जॉन टेलर डिस्ट्रॉशन द जॉन टेलर एफेक्ट हैपनिंग इन द ऑक्टाइटल सिस्टम मोस्टली ड्यू टू द असिमेट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन सिमेट्रिकली ओरिएंटेड मीन नो एफेक्ट इफ इट इज असिमेट्रिकली ओरिएंटेड मीन द एफेक्ट इज देयर दिस प्रिंसिपल एप्लीकेबल फॉर हाई स्पिन एज वेल एज लो स्पिन In John Taylor distortion, there is a two kind of distortion possible, which is Z in and Z out. The ligand in the Z axis can go outside or come near to the plane there. The L ligand going out mean Z out. L ligand going in mean Z in. If it is Z out condition, the bond length of axial will be greater than equatorial. If it is Z in, the bond length of axial will be lesser than equatorial. So you should know when the Z in and Z out will come. Normal one, the distribution will be T to G and E G, but Z in and Z out change the energy state. It will split into the two different energy state, which is delta one and delta two. Here I given the D one system, which is the normal one, which is octahedral one, which will dominate Z in or Z out. Just simply find the CFAC in Z in and Z out. You will find whether Z in or Z out will happen. Here, if you find Z in, CFAC will be minus two by three delta one. If you find for Z out, you will see one by three by delta one. So the lower will be minus two by three, which is lower energy, which is stable. So Z in is occur in the D one system. Here the finding Z in or Z out will be very easy. You have to only focus on delta one because delta two splitting equally most of the time it won't influence. Only delta one is influencing, so you can find easily by delta one. Moreover, finding the distance is easy. You have to remember the order of D one to D ten. And you have to remember the word is it in, is it out, and no. So memorize is it in and is it out, no. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching.